welcome the boss i explain you that the title of sample size estimated by oldman's nomogram and by lars quick formula method look at the left side of the page containing a graph image which is called oldman's nomogram this picture is easily available in internet a link will be given you in the following description box for downloading this image please download this plain graph image and use the for calculating the sample size and also i explain you lars quick formula method here sample size estimated by oldman's nomogram a nomogram is a chart that helps you drive the unknown available from the known variable of an equation there are commonly used three kinds of nomogram first bayesian nomogram second nnt nomogram third altman's nomogram altman's nomogram is a very clever graphical method for calculating sample size look the picture altman's nomogram altman's nomogram is a graph with two vertical scales and two sloping lines in the middle on the left is vertical scale for standardized difference this is marked in equal intervals from 00 0.0 at the top to 1.2 at the bottom on the right is vertical scale for power this is marked in intervals of increasing size from 0.995 at the top to 0.05 at the bottom the upper sloping line is labeled significant level 0.05 and they runs down to the right from 0.0 at the left axis at an angle of about 40 degree to the axis to a level about 0.9 on the standardized difference scale lower sloping line is label significant level 0.01 and runs down to the strike the right from 0.0 on the left axis at an angle of about 35 degree to the axis to a level about 1.04 on the standardized difference scale a scale is marked on the upper sloping line starting level with the standardized difference is equal to about 0.09 and a reading 10000 8000 4000 3000 2000 1400 1000 800 600 500 400 300 240 260 140 180 190 201 you see that all 10 and 8 other scale uh, divisions are marked but not labeled the scale is labeled numbers vertical lines link the scale on the upper sloping line to the lower sloping line the sloping lines do not meet the left vertical axis sample size estimated by altman's nomogram by examining the formula we can see that the record number of patients increase as the proportion of the event in the two arms is closer to the 0.5 value this difference to be detected decrease the lower the level of significant decrease and the power increase again we have to be sensible in our assumptions we can decrease the record sample size per treatment arms we increase the difference in the proportion of deep bite relapse cases to be detected 
however setting very large differences to be detected artificially decreases record sample size and this is not appropriate or realistic in a clinical setting the altman nomogram allows for a quick sample calculation for continuous outcomes for equal size to arm trials when using the nomogram on the left hand vertical line is the effect size uh, you can understand effect size in the standardized difference you see for which the sample size is required at the pre specified significance level shown on the diagonal line in the center at the power level on the right hand vertical axis the effect size in terms of the standardized difference is defined as the ratio of the minimum difference to be detected to the standard standard uh, deviation standardized difference scores are iterative indexes which measure the effect size between two groups compared to a t test or wilcoxon rank sum test we describe a method to determine the sampling distribution of the standardized difference when the true standardized difference is equal to zero thereby allowing one to determine the law the range of standardized difference differences that are plausible with a propensity score model having been correctly specified the standardized difference is defined as the difference between the mean divided by the overall standard deviations a standardized difference the standard difference the standardized difference is defined as the difference between the mean divided by the overall standard deviation uh, deviation standard is, uh, difference delta divided by sigma delta uh, is means uh, difference in the mean divided by standard deviation sigma delta by sigma you see this one delta means a difference in mean difference in means sigma in the we call it a standard uh, deviation delta the smallest difference in means sigma the assumed equal uh, standard deviation of the observation each of the two groups you can estimate it using a result from a similar study conducted previously or from published information alternately you could perform a pilot study to determine it another approach is to express a uh, delta as a multiple standard deviations example the ability to detect difference of two standard deviations as uh, a standard deviation you can understand delta divided by sigma delta is a difference in means and standard deviation divided by standard deviations what is effect size when a difference is statically significant it does not necessarily mean that it is big important or helpful in decision making it simply means you can be confident that there is a difference to know if an observed difference is not only statistical significance but also important or meaningful you will need to calculate its effect size rather than reporting the difference in terms of for example the number of points earned on a test or the number of pounds of recycling collector effect size is standardized in other words all effect size are calculated on a common scale which allows you to compare the effectiveness of difference of different programs on the same outcome how do you calculate effect size effect size e is equal to mean difference divided by standard deviation of the mean determination of sampling size test power power is the probability that a test of significance will pick up on an effect that is present power is the probability that a test of significance will detected a, a deviation from the null hypothesis should such a deviation exist power is the probability 
of avoiding a type second error in the research you see should be at least 0.8 or 80 percent you see trials with insufficient sample size often low test power power depend on sample size significant level variability in measurement size of effective data analysis method and the structure of the experiments good test power is a must sample size calculation effect size of we find now let us estimate the effect size to the following example experiment to examine the effect of drug a on a systolic blood pressure in a hypertension in people group a on number 10 uh, scores was treated with drug a and group crtl control was the control group you see the far left you see the uh, tables group a and group control you see the 10 score containing in it in the statistical um, the, the descriptive statistical we see the variable group a and control group you see total number uh, number of scores 10 each group have 10 and the mean first group a uh, mean is 132.40 40 and a group control 136.60 um in the group a have standard deviation 2.88 and the group control standard deviation 6.59 cohorts effect size b take in this calculation cohorts id a mean to minus mean 1 divided by pulled standard deviations uh, at the calculations you see the last you see the uh, formula uh, the calculation you know, and finding the effect size you see 0.8259 total effective size we have found out that the effect size is 0.8259 already we know that the power value is 0.80 so we will draw a strike line from the power value 0.80 to the effect size standardized difference 0.8259 this line will cross through the significance scale 0.5 and 0.01 now we will find out that the two groups total number of sample size okay now we draw the line on the significance level 0.05 total sample size of the two group is 47 you cross this uh, scale you can finding this one 80 0.80 and cross this scale and find is uh, 0.82 find you they cut this one you see 47 this is 47 you see and uh, 47 you see 0.05 uh, they sample this uh, significance level and uh, 0.01 level is is, is 70 you see this is 70 this is you see cut this 70 the interpretation of cohorts d you see generally we need the effect size uh, to be reasonably big as possible you can understand we normally use 0.2 or 0.35 as a start effect size is equal to 0.35 is also known as cohorts criterion effect size is zero means that there is that there is no difference between treatment and untreated group so avoid the further study of the experiment in the interpretation of cohorts d you see effect size can also be thought as the average percentile standing of the average treated or experimental participants relative to the average untreated or of control participants and effect size of 00 0.0 indicates 
that the mean of the treated group is at the 15th percentile of the untreated group and FIT size of 0.8 indicates that the mean of the treated group is at the 79th percentile of the untreated group and FIT size of 1.7 indicates that the mean of the treated group is at the 95.5 percentile of the untreated group. You see the column in the column uh, coherence standard you see and the FIT size and the percentile standing and the percent of non overlap you see this one uh, on the coherence standard you see the uh, small group 0.2 FIT size and the median 0.5 uh, effect size large 0.8 you see the difference you see in the percentile also 0.879 you see the median 0 0.569 uh, per st percentile state and the small 0 0.2 is equal to 58 0 is equal to 50 percentile you see sample size estimated by Lars quick formula for the unpaired t test and a chi square test we can use large formula for calculating the sample size for a power of 80 percent and a two sided significance level of 0 0.05 the record sample size in each uh, group is 16 divided by standardized difference square if the standardized difference is small this formula overestimate the sample size note that a number of 21 instead of 16 relate to a power of 90 percent. Let us take the previous example and its effect size. Let us take the previous example and its effect size of 0 0.8259 for solving this problem on layers quick formula V. It is not a small size effect. So, we calculate the sample size as below down you see 16 divided by 0 0.8259 square and the result giving the loss you see 23.5 this is the decimal you see this is will be make in round up the required sample size in the each group is 24 in rounded up so the in the uh, lagers quick formula we see the group size is 24. In the last page, we come into the conclusion. In this study, the sample size was decided by Altman's nomogram and by Laird's quick formula. It is assumed that the both of the study is 24 patients in each group. Okay, thank you. Thank you viewers.